the bell rang, so I started to gather up my stuff to go to my next class. I grabbed my book, my phone, my iPod, my AirPods, my handheld retro gaming device, and my charging block. As I made my way to the door, I heard a voice tell me to stop. It was my teacher, Mr. Mills. I sighed, frowned, and turned around. He pointed to the chair next to his desk. I knew what this was about, and it annoyed me, to say the least. I sat down. Adam, he said after a pause, we've talked about this before. I think you have a problem. You pay way more attention to electronic doodads than you do in class. Do you even know what we were talking about today? I scrunched up my face and thought about it. The only thing I could remember was the mobile game I had been playing. No, I admitted it last, I don't. But that shouldn't make a difference. My grades are always good and I aced the test. Yes, he countered, by cramming with Wikipedia the night before. Adam, you rely on electronics way too much. I think you ought to think of cutting back a bit. Maybe pull the plug for a few hours a day. It would do you good to form your own thoughts and realize you could learn a thing or two by cracking open a book. I sighed, gathered up my things and left. Later that evening, I was sitting in bed browsing Facebook. I read that Mr. Mills had been hit by a drunk driver while crossing the street downtown. He was in pretty bad shape. He'd already been in surgery twice and was on life support. I decided I'd visit him in the hospital tomorrow. The next day, I made my way there and the nurse looked sadly at me while she showed me to his room. It's not out of the woods yet, but we're hopeful he'll make it. It fills my heart with joy to see how many of his students care. You're the tenth one just today. I nodded and she left the room. I walked over to the side of his bed. Our roles seemed reversed. Me, now in the position of power and him at my command. I looked at the battery of machines next to me that were keeping him alive and bent down to whisper to his ear. Which one of us is relying on machines now? I hissed. Maybe you should unplug for a few hours. I threw his own words back at him and then I pulled the plug.